Hey there, and welcome to exercise number 95. If you want to solve this one on your own, then click on the link in the description. If not, keep watching, and we're going to solve it together. In this one, we need to write a function named createPubSub that returns an object implementing a basic publish subscribe pattern. Now, if you're wondering what is this publish subscribe pattern and you never heard about it, first, I encourage you to Google it. It's very important to know about this pattern. I think it's an important one for any developer. But number two, I prepared the diagram to explain it, you know, in generic terms. We're not going to get into a lot more detail. So let's go into Excalibur and let's take a look at this diagram right here. You can see that we have a PubSub broker here in the middle. And then we have three people, Lisa, John and Tony. Now, you may see that there are no lines connecting those people, right? So Lisa doesn't speak directly with John or Lisa doesn't speak directly with Tony. Instead, they are all connected to this PubSub broker. So this pattern is about objects like interacting with each other, with each other, sorry, but not directly, but via a PubSub broker. And how does it work? You can see that Lisa has a text that says, hey, Lisa is going to subscribe to call that Lisa. And this is in quotes. So this is an event. You can say, well, whenever Lisa is being called, we're going to get this call Lisa event and Lisa is interested in it. So she wants to subscribe to it. Then John is interested when he's going to get called. So John subscribes to this event. And then also Tony subscribes to call Tony event. And all of them subscribe in the PubSub broker. Now, what happens when, let's say, John wants to call Lisa? So let me just do the magic of undo redo. John is going to call Lisa and to call it is going to publish an event. Now, when that event is going to get published, you can see here that the PubSub broker is going to say, hey, the event is called Lisa. Lisa is subscribed to it, so I got to notify it. So the PubSub broker is going to notify Lisa of this event. Also, let's say Tony wants to call John. Tony is going to publish a call John event. Because John is subscribed to it, the PubSub broker is going to say, OK, I got this event from Tony. I have John who's subscribed to it, so let me notify him. So it's going to notify John about this event and John is going to do, well, whatever he wants to do, right? So the idea is that we have some objects that interact with one another and they say, hey, I'm interested in this event. I'm interested in this other event and so on. And then when the objects want to interact, they go via the PubSub broker and they say, hey, I want to publish this one and all events that are interested in it will get notified and so on. So Lisa is not going to get notified when we call John or Tony is not going to get notified when we call Lisa, right? Everybody gets notified only about the events they're interested in. Now, this being said, let's go back into the uh, platform and keep reading. So this object, the PubSub broker that we just saw, should have the following properties. The first one is called publish and is a method used to publish an event. Again, who's going to publish? I mean, everybody can publish events, right? Any object that has access to the PubSub broker can publish them. Now, this method should accept two parameters. The first one is the event ID, which again, going back to the Excalibur draw, is like this string here, right? Call Lisa or call John. So we have the event ID and then we have an event data. So the data that's going to be passed to the object that subscribed to it. Then this PubSub broker is going to have a subscribe method. This is going to be a second property. So it's a method used to subscribe to a certain event. So this is what Lisa is going to do to subscribe to call Lisa. John is going to do to subscribe to call John and so on. This method should accept two parameters. The event ID, again, going back in Excoli draw, we have the event ID here and a callback that's going to get some data, which is going to be this event data. So the callback is, again, a function that will be called when the event is published. And, of course, it will receive one parameter, the event data passed when we publish the event. So this event data here is actually this data that's going to be sent on the callback. Now, this subscribe method should return another function called unsubscribe that can be used to unsubscribe from this event. Now, I know this might be a bit complicated, so let's look at the example below. So I have a person class with a name, then a PubSub broker, and then an unsubscribe function. This is what we have on the, on the class. Then in the constructor, I'm going to get the name and the PubSub broker. I'm going to assign it to the instance. And then I'm going to subscribe to the calling.this.name event, right? So everybody's going to subscribe 
to a different event based on their name. And we're going to get a function, right? That's going to get some data. And we're going to call this.pickupphone. Now, this.pickupphone is simply a method that's going to console log hello, the name of the caller. This is what we expect to get here. This is, and this is the name of the person, what's up. So basically we say, hey, when we're going to get this event, we want to call this function. Then each person also has another method called call someone. And we're going to get a name here. This function is going to console log let's call and the name of the person. And it's going to publish to the broker a message, I mean an event, with the ID calling dot and that person name. And this is the payload, right? The caller. So again, this caller is going to be passed to the broker. And everybody who subscribed to this event is going to get it in their subscribe function here, event data, which is again going to be passed to pick up phone. And finally, each person is going to have a close phone uh, property. I mean, yeah, it's a property that's going to call this that unsubscribe function. So let's say we want to go to sleep. I'm going to close my phone. So I'm going to unsubscribe. I don't want to get notified when somebody's calling me. Right now, let's look at how we're going to use this. So we're going to call create pub sub and we get this broker and we're going to create three people, Bob, George and Lisa, right? New person, new person and new person. And then we're going to call Bob that call someone with Lisa. What's going to happen? where we're going to go in Bob, we're going to console log this one, let's call Lisa, right? It should print this. Then we're going to publish on the broker the calling.lisa event with this payload, which, which is going to have caller and the name is going to be Bob because Bob is calling this function. Then because Lisa subscribed to this event in its constructor, we're going to call the pickup phone on Lisa and we're, we should print as it says here, hello, Bob, this is Lisa, what's up? And you can see only Lisa gets notified because only she subscribed to this event. George and Bob didn't subscribe to calling Lisa event. Then further down the line, similarly, George is going to call Lisa. And again, we're going to print, let's call Lisa. And then hello, George, this is Lisa, what's up? And then finally, when Lisa is going to call Bob, we're going to get, let's call Bob. And then, hello, Lisa, this is Bob, what's up? So you can see those objects are interacting with each other via the PubSub broker, not directly, which is actually pretty cool if you ask me. Now, let's solve it. So I'm going to go here and this one is going to need to return an object. We're going to call PubSub broker. So let's start with that const PubSub broker is an object. Now, this object should have two properties, publish, right, which is a function and subscribe which is another function. Now publish is going to get two parameters looking here, event ID and event data. Then subscribe is also going to get event ID and it should return, actually, sorry, it's going to get event ID and a callback, right? And we receive one parameter, a function that will be called. So subscribe should call this callback as we discussed, and it should return a function called unsubscribe that can be used to unsubscribe from this event. So here we're going to need to do something like const unsubscribe is, and we're going to have something here and we're going to return it. And finally, don't forget to return PubSub broker. So we have like the boilerplate done. We have the properties, but we don't have their implementations yet. So let's do that. And actually you're going to be surprised how little code we have. Now we're going to need to store the subscriptions by ID. So whenever someone subscribes to an event, let's start with this, we want to store someplace that, hey, this event ID, for this event ID, this callback is subscribed. And I think best for it is to use a map. So I'm going to put here const subscribers is new map. And here we're going to see if subscribers dot has event ID. So if it already has other people subscribed to it. Uh, I mean, sorry, before I go into that, this map is going to be, if you know TypeScript, like this map of string and then void function. I mean, not function, uh, a function, not void function, sorry, a function array. So this one is going to be an array of functions that's going to get some event data because multiple people can be subscribed to the same event. So we're going to store them in an array. So here we're going to say, hey, has anybody subscribed to this event ID? If it has, then we have it. We have the property. So we just want to push this callback. So I'm going to say subscribers.getEventID.push callback. Otherwise, I'm going to say subscribers.set 
event ID, and we're gonna just put the single callback we have so far. Now we need to write the unsubscribe function that will, well, unsubscribe this callback. Actually, what that means is it needs to remove it from the subscribers map. So first we can do a simple check saying, well, if there's nobody subscribed, subscribed with this event ID, we don't need to, uh, to do anything. So I can say if subscribers that has event ID, and I'm gonna put a note here, right? If it doesn't have return, then I'm gonna say const existing callbacks is, and I get a message is read only. Can I refresh this? Oh yeah, because, okay, so existing callbacks, I didn't finish the line. Existing callbacks is gonna be subscribers.get event ID. Then I'm gonna say remaining callbacks. So I wanna remove all callbacks except this one. And maybe some people subscribe with this multiple times. So I'm gonna say existing callbacks.filter callback uh, return. And actually let's name this one existing callback. I'm gonna say return existing callback is different than callback. And then finally, I'm gonna say subscribers.set event ID remaining callbacks. So I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna take the existing callbacks, I'm gonna filter all of them that are not this callback, and then I'm gonna set the result back on the subscribers map. And actually this should be it for, for the unsubscribe function, which is actually you know the more complicated one. Now let's do the publish one. So for publish, I need to find all callbacks for this event ID and call them with this data. So I'm gonna say const existing callbacks is, and I can do subscribers.get event ID. And this one is gonna get, well, it's gonna get the value. And if it doesn't exist, it's gonna get, I think, null or undefined. Well, let's just check. And we have here or undefined if the key can be found. Okay, so this is gonna get undefined and we can use this operator and say, empty array. So if there are no callbacks, I'm gonna to default to empty array. Why? Because I wanna do existing callbacks that for each and this saves me an if and I'm gonna get a callback and I'm gonna say callback of event data. And to be honest, this should be pretty much it, right? So in the publish, we just get the callbacks and we call them with this data. And in the subscribe, we make sure to add this callback and also to return an unsubscribe function that, well, removes it. So let's test the code. I'm just gonna copy paste this one. Let's just put it here and let's look in the console. And I get event ID because this one should be event ID. Let's call Lisa, hello Bob, this is Lisa, what's up? Okay, let's call Lisa, hello George, okay, we get it. Let's call Bob and so on. Now let's say that here after Bob calls Lisa, let's say that Lisa is gonna do close phone. Yeah, this is the name of the function. So Lisa is gonna close its phone. And now you can see the difference. So let's call Lisa, hello Bob. So Bob calls Lisa, but then when George says, hey, let's call Lisa, Lisa doesn't pick up because Lisa closed her phone. If I uncomment this, you're gonna see hello George comes here. So. I have tested that the unsubscribe function works. Now this looks good. So let's test our solution and voila, it works. Cheers and see you in the next one.